Ellis. Ellis now with a long torpedo right down the middle of the ground. Pushed by Vasoli. Goes unnoticed. Johnson pushed the ball back. This is uh, Renstead. He's a classy centre man. Goes for the pass to Cassidy. Oh, danger. Here's Danger. Cassidy. Can he get away? He can. Oh, he runs through brilliantly. Goes for the pass to Watterson. Oh. Uh, Watterson's got it. 40 metres out from goal. By gee, they can kick these from out of players. And they're confident about it. They go for their shots when they're clear. Well, Watterson from 40 metres. He, uh, he's a pretty good kick. He's only kicked the one goal today, Watterson. Drop punt. Looks pretty straight. That's a goal to East Fremantle. No risk about that. They go to 16-9. Leading South Fremantle 14-16. The margin is five points in favour of East Fremantle. Watterson kicks his second one in the first quarter, one in the last. And Cassidy really hasn't done a lot during the game. But when you have a look at his stats, he's made the most of them. That was a lovely pass going into Watterson. And, of course, Cassidy himself has kicked five goals. And every time he gets the ball from the centre line down, he looks very dangerous player. And, as George said, a very confident side, East Fremantle. They go for their shots when they've got the ball. And they are becoming beautiful kickers of the football. Swans have hit the... No, West Perth in front, sorry. Take it easy, Keith. <laughs> Which <laughs> thinking, by Harding. <laughs> Willie Rowe goes for it. Sock it away from him by Kerr. In goes Brindisic. Hand passes over towards Matera. Matera's got the ball. Matera up to centre half forward. Browning oh, in front. Mark. That's a good mark. Beat uh, Monteith clearly in the air that time. Hello. He'll go right down the middle with a nice torpedo. Knocked away by uh, Townsend for South Fremantle towards Vasali. Now he's got a chance here. Gives the ball to O'Brien. O'Brien runs up to centre half forward. Draws the man. Gives it to Winmar. Winmar shoots from 40 metres and that's a goal. Good passage of football by South Fremantle. And they're back in front. The lead seesawing here at East Fremantle Oval. They're one of the best derbies for years with a crowd of 15,000. And South are leading 15-16 to East Fremantle 16-9. South just finished out a little bit better. And Winmar a good goal under pressure. But what a great spoil by Townsend. Coming up from behind and spoiling. Absolutely destroying the ball. Knocked at 30 metres down the field. And that set up the move for South Fremantle to go forward. And I thought that was a good kick under pressure by Winmar. Michael in the ruck against Harding. Up they go. Harding wins the knock. Knocked out by Carter. In goes Mount. Mount now boots it out towards right half forward. Monteith and Matera there for South Fremantle. But Browning goes over the top. Knocks the ball out. Was that in the back or not, Keith? It's a bit rough, uh, there isn't it? There Someone doesn't like Monteith. He's been manhandled several times today. Pretty obvious one. Always in the front position is Monteith. Up goes Michael. Harding won the knock. Taken by Kerr. Kerr, nice handball over to uh, Jensen. Jensen, a nice short pass. And uh, was there interference oh, dear, there by dear. Vigana? The umpire's whistle is gone now. But it's South from Adel's free kick to Townsend dear, dear, for being dear. held without possession. But what about the free kick that should have gone to Jensen? That's quite right. Well, the umpires are letting it go. So it's happening both ways. Monteith from behind takes the mark, gives the ball to Carter. Carter to Winmar. Winmar from 40 metres, 30 metres, takes the shot and kicks another one for South Fremantle. Well, that's a brilliant burst of football by Nicky Winmar from Pinsley. And playing in only his uh, second league game, Winmar has kicked uh, two goals for South Fremantle to put them in front by seven points. 16-16 to 16-9. Did you have a look at his face after kicking that one? Great play by Monty to Carter to Winmar, and away he goes. There's the 25-metre line, and the angle 45 degrees, he splits the centre. And that's great pressure football by young Nicky Winmar. A star of the future. He's on the half, half forward flank at the moment, Winmar. Michael going up, Harding wins the knock, favoured by the bounce. He comes down to row. Up goes Mount. Goes for the one-hander. Play on, says the umpire. Kicked away out of defence by Jones. Knocked away by Henwood. In goes Brindisic. He knocks the ball into the centre circle to Carter. Carter now out to Willie Rowe. With him is Lester Smith. Willie Rowe out towards right half forward, towards Winmar. Oh, bad luck, son. Taken off him now by uh, Johnson. Johnson. Johnson kicks towards the middle, towards Cormac. Cormac now over towards uh, Brennan. Brennan boots it up over the centre circle. In goes Taylor back on the field now with that hamstring injury. He gets a free kick for over the shoulder. Taylor now goes for the pass and finds Renstead about 55 metres out from goal. That's just what Ishii Mantle want, Taylor on and getting a few kicks. Back it goes to a little short pass to uh, Billy Jones and he's about 40 metres out from goal. The South defender's going to sleep there. 
It was reminiscent of East Fremantle of old. The little short game when they're in trouble. Well, Billy Jones taking the shot. South, uh, East South lead by seven points and Billy Jones kicks another goal. Boy, are East Fremantle kicking well. They're 17-10. South Fremantle are 16... They're 17-9. South Fremantle are 16-16. Billy Jones, another young player showing great maturity under pressure. We saw Widmar kick two at the other end. Of course, earlier in the game, these two players were opposing each other. They're on opposite sides of the ground now, but they're both pressure goals. Two by Winmar and now one by Billy Jones. East Fremantle right back in at one point, the difference. Well, nothing in it. It's the 12-minute mark of the last quarter. Michael and Harding resume their battle. Harding goes highest to win the knock. Taken by Michael. He gives the ball to Gwyndersitz. He gives it over to Hardy. Hardy knocks it onto Mount. Mount on the left foot, 45 metres out. Right up into the pocket, Rankin's after it, and the ball to be thrown in. South from Adel, 15 metres from goal. See, I've got to take my head off to these guys that played Saturday. They're going on with the job. Michael, Harding, all going strong, so they're supremely fit athletes. Harding gets in front this time. Up goes Arnold from behind. That's One the big knock towards the goal square. Socket away by Johnson. In goes O'Brien. Good pick up, 50 metres out. Gives the ball to Carter. Carter over to Hardy. Hardy will run out of space. No, he won't. He's 30 metres out. Takes the shot. Dead centre. Now listen to the roar of the crowd here from the 15,000 people getting a great day's football here. 17-16 South from Adel and East from Adel 17-9. Oh, they pressure goals or what? Brad Hardy kicks his third. He never played the first half on a half-back flank and he had one thing in mind then. Straight for those goals as the handball from Carter. And look at him go. Weaving around players, had his eyes on the goal all the time, and once he got to that 25 metre mark, away it went. Full mark to Jeff O'Brien, then I thought he played superbly in the centre of the ground. South kicking into a slight breeze, although it's not very strong. Michael and Harding, one by uh, Michael that time. There was a high tackle there, and it's a free kick to Neil Lester Smith. Is it Lester Smith or yes. uh, Renstead? Yes, Lester Smith. Neil Lester Smith, the left footer. So not a long kick. He'll kick it right down the middle with the long one. Looks for Waterson. He comes up with Carter. That's Gavin Carter. South messing around on the back line. Barrett. Barrett clears it out towards the halfback flank where Lester Smith's got the lead in the race to the ball. After him is Townsend. Lester Smith is grabbed by oh. Townsend. Play on, says the umpire. No, it was out of play and it's going to be thrown in. He was lucky not to be copped holding the ball there. He was definitely in possession. Well, Michael's on the ball here. He's going to go up against uh, Sterrett. <laughs> Comes back to Renstead. Here's danger for South from Adel. Renstead up into the pocket. Billy Jones takes the mark in front of Vigana. Billy Jones about 40 metres from goal. He's got to admire the steadiness of these young players. Young Renstead then showing good, cool, calm, good level head. Billy Jones takes the shot, boots it into the goal square. No one can take the mark. Chance here for Cassidy. Cassidy hooks back at goal. This is going across the face. And knocked away by South Fremantle and Henwood rushes it through for a force behind and it's only a goal to difference. 17 oh, 10 East Fremantle, 17 16 South Fremantle. If we were looking at them, they're tightened up at Leaderville Oval. 10 points the difference. This is uh, Carter out wide to Henwood who marks right on the boundary. By gee, that was a confident <laughs> kickoff. You want a photo? <laughs> <laughs> Henwood boots short towards Matera. Doesn't come off. This is Taylor. Will you search for South Fremantle now? Gets caught, gives it to Vasoli. Well played. Vasoli on towards Hardy. The umpire had his whistle in the mouth and didn't blow it. Hardy now for South Fremantle. Over the top he goes to Mount. Mount now kicks long right down the middle of the field. Dropping short. And the mark Browning. taken by Browning. How many times has he saved East Fremantle? Out wide he goes towards Johnson and Ellis. And Ellis takes the mark. Well, Ellis has played on. Kicks it down the wing. Stephen Michael is there. But if ball carries him, it goes to Lester Smith. Lester Smith does it coolly. Mind he's got a touch of class. Look at him pass the ball into oh, Harding. Oh, that was foolish though, George. He Michael soccers the ball away to Moscone. Or Townsend. Townsend's handball is blanketed here. Cormac driving East from Adelaide to attack. Waterson on the 50 metre oh, line. Oh, Taylor. Taylor leading down towards the goals. Waterson going for the pass. Denny Vagana into spoil. And the umpire says play on. This is Barrett now. A goal the difference in the derby, and the ball goes out wide for the mark to Rawlinson. Waterson just took that little bit too long to get it over to Taylor. This is Townsend. Townsend goes short towards Hardy in the centre. Hardy oh, to Matera. And Wally Matera runs up the centre half forward now. 
and boots it long up towards the Paul Arnold. Up he goes, and he can't mark it. This is Carter, Ta-da. a brilliant pickup. Left foot snap from 20. Offline, he doesn't often miss those. South of 17, 17, east from Adel, 17, 10, at the 16 and a half minute mark of the last quarter. Oh, what a derby. Eastie Mantle not giving one inch. You remember there, down around about sixth place on the table, south of the leaders, the Premiership leaders, and Eastie Mantle clinging to them, showing every bit as much cool as South Mantle. And that's full marks because South have got a lot of experienced players in their side. South not lucky in the forward line today, Keith. Carter normally puts them through. Yes, he usually does. Get back in, wouldn't you? This is Ellis. Ellis goes to the outer side of the ground. Looks for uh, Renstead. Vasoli spoils, but the umpire pays the mark to Renstead. Playing like a veteran in his first season of league football. This boy from Geraldton boots it down the wing now. Lester Smith, the target. A good spoil by Townsend. In goes Winmar. The ball comes to Townsend. Townsend now kicks towards centre half forward. Up go the 40,000 horsemen. Rankin's missed it. South from Adelaide with a chance. Monteith in there under the pack. Still Monteith. <laughs> Grindersets pushes it out to Matera. Now it comes back to Grindersets. Grindersets boots it up towards full forward. Ellis is there. Coming in as Arnold, trying to bump him off oh, the ball, brilliant. but he can't do it. And there's a Oop. good tackle down there by Willie Rowe. Oh. Holding the man, he says. No, he's going to bounce it. Willie Rowe unlucky in the forward line. Yes, and uh, that was a good tackle, and uh, the tackling is absolutely very severe down there at the moment. Once again, Keith, it was too close to goal. In goes uh, Michael. That was a clear case of holding the ball. This is Arnold taking the snap. Knocked away by Carter. In goes Winmar. Winmar, his third goal in the last quarter. What a brilliant snap. And uh, is he a light in the last quarter? Nicky Winmar from Pendley, South of 18-17. East from Adler, 17-10. Well, they've got that quickness about them, haven't they? Very quick reflexes. Dicky Winmar has the ball going in now from uh, Paul Arnold. And watch the flash. Nicky Winmar onto his left foot. Didn't take too long about that. He knew the tackle would be coming any second. And he's given South just that little bit of breathing space now. 13 points. Well, Mel Brown said he was a champion. Winmar, a champion in the making. Michael wins the knock. Taken through by Lester Smith. Gives it to Wilson. Wilson plays it coolly. Can't get a good kick in, but it goes to uh, Lester Smith. He puts it out wide. He's from Adel in the box seat here. Yeah, this nice is Sterrett. Confident. Sterrett with a long shot at goal. Waterson and Carter in a one out. Could go through. <laughs> it's full points. Full points for the booth of uh, Ray Sterrett. His third goal. And East from Adel narrow the gap. East from Adel 18 10. South from Adel 18 17. Uh, what a game. Oh, it's all happening. Full marks to East from Adel. They're bouncing back at every opportunity. Look at Sterrett. Just past the 50 metre mark. Only two players near the goal. Henwood. He can't get there. Waterson can't. It bounces the right way. And the goal now seven points the difference. And Ishii Mantle are hanging in there. And they've got a lot of good, young, fit players out there. If the breaks go their way, they could still win it. Yes, they're getting most of the breaks, Keith. Uh, they've got 18 10 on the board. South 18 17. Michael and Harding. And it's, it's even knock. Stevens there. Comes down to Renstead. Out wide he goes to Billy Jones. O'Brien after him. East into attack again. Right up deep into the pocket. Out comes Gavin Carter. The bounce favours Waterson. In goes Vagona. And Benny Vagona clears for South Fremantle. Kicks it straight to Renstead. Oh, oh it just carried him. Lux of fortune. Stephen Michaels missed it. Handball by O'Brien tired. to Hardy. And Hardy will go up towards centre half forward. Looks for Carter. Carter now handballs back to Hardy. Look at the veterans go in. Centre half forward. Takes the shot. And kicks it short. And the tack broken up by Browning. Slams the ball back onto oh, the wing. That's brilliant. Yeah, into a nest of East Romano players. And this is Billy Jones, oh, smothered by Michael. Again. In goes the champion, Stephen Michael again. Hand passes out to Vasoli. What sort of football was that? Oh, and oh, finds Monteith up there. Unbelievable, Stephen it's, Michael. Uh, it's Monteith about 45 metres out from goal. But what a passage of football oh. by Stephen Michael. Oh, what a magnificent delivery by the big man Browning and then Stephen Michael. Well, the crowd have been hooting Michael today, but he's played brilliantly. This is Monteith with a long shot of goal and kicks a point. South from Adel, 18-18. East from Adel, 18-10. The amount of work that Stephen Michael does other than kicks and marks is quite incredible. Ellis gains 25 metres out of the square, puts it down the wing and finds Renstead. Well, that was a good bit of football by uh, Ellis out of defence there. 
Renstead goes up onto the half forward flank and out comes Lester Smith. The ball bounces beautifully for him. Oh, how cool oh, can he, you got, be? he got around Townsend easily up into the forward pocket oh. it goes. Billy Jones from 50 metres Cassidy. takes the shot. Cassidy is it? Close. One oh. point only. Cassidy it was from the 50 metre line. Kicks a point. Arnold off. East from Adel 18 11. And South from Adel 18 18. Seven points the difference. Gavin Carter kicks in. To the outer side, looks for Michael, but behind him, a great mark taken for South Fremantle by, uh, let's see, Ta is it Townsend? I think it's Townsend. Yes, John Townsend kicks into the centre of the ground now. And it's all East Fremantle. They've taken the mark through Brennan. Michael Brennan kicks towards the centre half forward position. Henwood from behind oh, takes a great mark. mark. Plays on, out wide. South knock it out in front of Grilicic, he's missed it. This is uh, Sterrett, gives the ball back to Taylor. Taylor, a short pass, looking for Kerr. This is uh, Moscone. Moscone, oh, he just missed one there. Comes to Barrett. Rod Barrett now running through centre half bat. Goes for the left footer into the centre of the ground. Stephen Mount, Vasoli and Brennan. Uh, his own man jumped yeah, on his him. His own man pushed him <laughs> in the back. Uh, Stephen yeah. Mount went right into Vasoli's back. An umpire <laughs> rode a bouncer. That's when you're real desperate to get the football. Seven points the difference. 22 minutes gone in the last quarter. South Fremantle leading by seven points. All players on the ball. No one can win the knock. Knocked away by Cormac. Goes to Hardy. There's Hardy breaks away. Boots it up the centre half forward. Browning. Ah, oh, brilliant. Away he goes, Browning. He can kick it long, but he goes short to Cassidy. Cassidy goes for oh, the head. For the In comes Michael. Play. Ball comes to Cormac. Shakes off Michael's tackle. Takes the shot. Great torpedo by Cormac. Henwood, oh, Henwood mark, takes son. a great mark and the players good, lifting mark. the great heights. Oh, are they ever? They're playing above themselves, all of them. Here in the derby, the players setting a magnificent example as Henwood kicks it out wide. Up goes Barrett, but the mark is taken Mr. from cool. him by uh, Rod Lester Smith. Mr. Cool himself. He'll go for a pass into Cormac, and it comes off. He's about 45 metres from goal, right in front. Seven points the difference. If he kicks this, it'll be uh, one point the difference in favour of South Fremantle. 23 minutes gone in the final quarter. South have played magnificently in this last quarter into the light breeze, but uh, East Fremantle can still win the game as Cormac fires it in for full points. One point the difference in the derby at East Fremantle Oval. East Fremantle 19-11. And South Fremantle, 18-18. Well, they're pressure goals now. They have the pressure goal from Cormac. Look at him. There's the 50-metre mark, so he's well out. Didn't take many steps, but put it onto his ball, onto the uh, foot correctly. And well played Rod Lester-Smith then. Mr. Cool himself. It was he that found Cormac in the middle of the ground. A goal to East Fremantle to win the game for them. Rawlinson up with Harding. In goes Taylor. Taylor caught in the centre. Lester Smith pulled off the ball and the umpire will bounce it. Lester Smith appealing for the free kick. Michael's still in there. Harding still in there. This is a there. vital bounce. Harding wins the knock. Great knock. Kicked out by Cassidy. Quintessich and Wilson under it. Wilson knocks it away. In goes Magona. He's fallen over. He's from Adels Wilson. He's got pace. And the ball beats him. No, no. Still it. Now it's across the line. Out of play on the left half forward flank. Just as Sterrett was going to pick it up. Well, East Fremantle pressing forward. We're about to go into time on. South leading by one point. And have the crowd got their value today? Harding dropping back a kick behind the play. Lester, Lester Smith, Smith going in the ruck. Michael knocks it down straight to Cormac. Kick it long. Cormac to Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy to Taylor. Uh, Taylor <laughs> through to Lester Smith. Long shot by Lester Smith. Close. One point only. The scores are level. <laughs> South oh, Fremantle 18-18. Yeah. East Fremantle 19-12. 126 points apiece. With East Fremantle favoured now because the ball's in their forward line. Carter goes for a pass. O'Brien, play on, says the umpire. That was interesting. The ball to be bounced at the 25 metre line and O'Brien can't believe it. I thought that was a mark, but the umpire a lot closer than us. Well, up they go. East Fremantle favoured to win. Michael's knocked to Waterson. <laughs> oh, and he's going to bounce the ball. Oh, boy. Well, East from out, all they need to do is force a behind keep. Now Harding and Michael still going. Knockout by uh, Watterson. Grillisets. Wilson with him. Michael through to Grillisets. He gets caught. Gives it straight to Taylor. Taylor a long kick up towards full forward. Carter drops back. Takes the mark for South Fremantle. Well played. Plays on wide now with a handball to Moscone. 
Moscone up onto the wing. This is critical. Mount from behind. Great mark. Bad luck, Lester Smith. He slipped over. Scores a level. We're in time on. Mount boots it towards centre half forward. Windmar from behind. There was a player down behind the pack. This is Johnson. Johnson face from out a block by Mount. Ball comes now to uh, Brennan. Brennan boots it up towards the half forward flank. Vagana from behind. Great oh. mark, Billy <laughs> Vagana. What a terrific mark oh, over the dear, top of dear. Lester Smith. But he can't afford to make a mistake with a kick. Freak mark, Benny Vagona. He's played enough. He knows where to kick it. Torpedo up onto the wing. Harding's in the pack and mount. At the back, Lester Smith. Sends East from Edel back into attack. Moscone under the ball. Oh, oh and the mark taken by Cor Sterrett. Now the umpire's whistle is gone. What will he do? It is a mark. It's Sterrett with the mark. And a 15 metre penalty. That's a bit rough at this stage of the game. What was it for? Well, I don't know what it was for. Began I thought that, that well, it was he was on. slung down, but uh, the, the whistle hadn't blown for the mark, so I think it was quite uh, feasible some, for some the player to put him down. Some of the decisions today in the forward line, Keith, have been, uh, to say the least, a little bit doubtful. Well, the umpiring has been pretty good on for the most part. It has been, but in the forward line, a 15 metre penalty there for no reason at all. There's the kick by Sterrett. Well, that squared it. He's hooked it, kicked the point, but it puts East from Adel in front. East from Adel leading by a point, 19-13 to 18-18. Browning has played absolutely superbly in the back line for East from Adel. I don't know how many times he saved them in this quarter, but he's been reading the game magnificently. Two and a half minutes of time on gone. East from Adel in the box seat now, point in front. South will need a lucky break. There it is. Oh, he should have handballed it to Carter. Ball comes to Vasoli, gets caught by Cormac. Play on, this is Moscone. Moscone high towards centre half forward. It's all East from Adel. And Lester Smith drops the mark. Through comes Brennan and South get a free kick. South get a free kick to go to uh, Matera. Matera to O'Brien. South need a point to level the scores. O'Brien a long kick up to full forward. Michael's down there. Takes the mark. It. What a great <laughs> mark by Stephen Michael. He must be nearly out on his feet, Stephen Michael. Well, if he kicks a point, he'll level the scores. I We've think had uh, nearly three and a half minutes of time on. I think he's uh, after more than a point, George. Well, if he kicks a goal, he'll give South the lead, but could he kick it out of bounds? There's the, the mark ball? now. Have a look at it. Courage. He must have much more petrol in the tank, Stephen Michael, after Saturday and today. Well, in comes Michael now. Will he kick it off the side? It's gone off the side. One point, the scores are level. A lot of pressure on that kick. South 18-19, Eastern Adel 19-13, 127 points apiece. Ellis gets the ball out wide to Cassidy. Cassidy goes for a half-distance kick. Michael's out there, but the mark is taken by East Fremantle, by uh, Renstead. No, it's not Renstead, it's Keyes. Keyes now, kicks towards the centre wing position. Mount in front, with him Brennan. South get the hand pass through to Carter. Lux of fortune here. Handball to Michael. Michael goes for a pass to Matera. Matera runs round, 45 metres from goal. Goes for the handball to Hardy. South lead a point. Hardy got the push, play on. South trying to rush it through. By the they should have taken a shot at goal. They could pay the penalty. Was Hardy pushed in the pack? 30 minutes gone. Can't be too long to go. Five minutes of time on is gone. Close to siren time. Harding wins the knock towards the boundary. And East from out of play it out. Ball to be thrown in. We understand the Swans have defeated West Perth by three points at Leaderville Oval in another close game. The scores are level here at East from out of Oval. Well, there's a big pack here. Harding wins it. No free kicks there. I think the umpire wouldn't be came to pay a free in that pack. And the ball will be thrown in again. Now, Gulicic is wandering down, and uh, Wilson has just seen him. He got about 30 metres away. Harding wins the knock. In goes Hardy. The umpire to bounce it. By it's hard to get a free now, Keith. It is hard to get a free, and uh, the players are being very careful not to go into the back. They're all playing the ball now desperately. Harding's been winning the knocks here. Wins it again. Carter grabbed high, he'll get the free, but he's too far out to score. Noel Carter too far out to score. Siren. Siren, the scores are level. <laughs> Can he win the game after the siren? He's kicking into the breeze. It's a light breeze. Carter with a torpedo, it's a long kick. Great kick by Carter. Point. It's a point, I think. South from Adelaide won it. Let's see whether the goal umpire waves the flag. The uh, umpire, yes, is consulting the goal umpire. It's one point to South Fremantle. They've won the game. Noel Carter has won it. 
by kicking a point after the siren. The final score, South Fremantle, 18-20, have defeated East Fremantle, 19 -20. One of the most dramatic finishes to a football derby, South Fremantle got up by a solitary point in the match of the season at East Fremantle today. The final scores, South 18-20 to the Sharks, 19-13. In the other games, Swan 16-18, West Perth 15-21, and Claremont and East Perth both recording percentage boosters. But now turning firstly to the derby, and a free kick to South Fremantle centre man Noel Carter five seconds before the final siren was just enough to give the Bulldogs a victory by one point in the football match of the year at East Fremantle Oval. With blood still trickling from a cut over his right eye and spectators pouring onto the ground, Carter unloaded a 60 metre punt kick which sailed through for the vital point. Today's game was watched by a crowd of nearly 15,000 and for many it revived memories of the great derby clashes of the years gone by. One of the talking points for weeks to come occurred in the third quarter, when after a goal by South Fremantle, rover Willie Rowe was floored in front of goal and was awarded a free kick, giving the Bulldogs two goals without the ball being taken back to the centre. South Fremantle looked all over winners early in the first quarter. Willie Rowe goaled after a minute and Paul Arnold was dominant at full forward. Shot a goal and slams it through. Harding, Kerr, all in there. There's the kick. Up towards the forward pocket, ha Arnold. Carter does it nicely. Now he looks for Townsend, no he doesn't. He goes towards Arnold and he upmarks Alexander. But the Sharks stayed in touch to thanks to this goal from Bill Jones late in the quarter. Three superb long goals from Jeff Cassidy and some magic from Rod Lester Smith saw them go to half time with a slender lead. Townsend, Cassidy will rove the ball. The danger man. Cassidy gets round, Gwyneth sets, takes oh, the oh, have a look at that. Meters. Good long oh, kick, oh, oh. and East Fremantle hit the front with a goal. Cassidy with the free kick, oh, kicks high, kicks at 60 metres, Waterson the target. Oh, coming through, Lester Smith fires back into an open goal, dead centre. Paul Harding was on the receiving end of a soaring Stephen Michael leap just before half-time, but to his credit came back on the ground to finish the match. Hard there, Keith. In the last quarter, the atmosphere was electric. Young Nicky Winmar showed the crowd his pingily pirouette. Knocked away by Carter. In goes Winmar. Winmar, his third goal in the last quarter. Ray Sterrett for East Fremantle kicked one of the goals of the day. The long shot at goal. Watterson and Carter in a one out. Could go through. It's full points. And then with the scores all tied up, Noel Carter was awarded this kick in the dying seconds. And as the siren sounded, elated Bulldog supporters watched their hero win one of the most exciting derbies in recent memory. It's a light breeze. Carter with a torpedo. It's a long kick. Great kick by Carter. It's a point I like. South from Ella won it. And a draw probably a fitting result. But it was... I've been left with a stigma. The Ishmael Football Club has decided not to ask for an inquiry into several incidents in yesterday's derby at East Fremantle Oval. After viewing a tape of the incidents today, the club's president wrote to the umpire's appointment board expressing his concern at them and asking for an interpretation of the decisions that followed them. Two of the incidents involve South Fremantle captain Stephen Michael. In the first of those incidents, Michael applied a high tackle on sentiment Murray Renstead. Renstead was awarded a free kick but was forced to leave the ground with a pinched nerve in his shoulder. In the worst of the two, Sharks ruckman Paul Harding was the victim of an ungainly leap by Michael at a bounce down. He had to be assisted from the field at half time, but like Renstead, was able to continue. East Fremantle have also asked for an interpretation of the decision that produced two goals without a bounce down early in the third quarter. WA's director of soccer. victory by just three points. Now having a look at the leading goal kickers, Warren Ralph still on top, he got eight today, then Edwards of East Perth, Arnold of South Fremantle, Stasinowski, Waterson and Scott, and the Premiership table in fact remains unaltered. South Fremantle still on top by virtue of percentage, then Clem.